welcome back to my channel my name is Laura today we are rubber stamping and I decided to try to do something with my distress oxide inks so here are my drawers where I store them they are I found this at TJ Maxx it's a refrigerator drawer they fit really nicely in there I have them all labeled but what we're gonna do today is I want to work with these hold on see those anchors in the back that's what I want to work with and I this is really cool because I just realized that the whole drawer comes out and I can bring this to my desk so I'm going to my desk over here and um, I want to work with the distress inks um, today these little bottle things and um, I searched online with a something to do with this thing and I already had the product so I already started working with this so I bought this thing it's a tray you can't you cannot uh, turn this upside down because the inks get all over the place but um, I did work with this before so I'm gonna re-ink it and I think I did get some new colors so we will add new colors to my palette here because I do have some blank spots. I'm trying to open this with one hand um, here. So I had this, um, these ink pads that I put the colors in here, but um, when you tilt this thing, it doesn't really, um, see how my whole glass thing is all full of things, uh, ink, so I don't, I have to leave this laid flat somewhere anyway so this is uh what it looks like those colors that i had i believe that i got some new ones um i did get uh crackled p uh, pistachio was a new one um i don't know i want to refill these so let me um put this camera up on my tripod um and we'll start doing that Okay, so I just counted all my Distress Oxide re inkers and I have 10 of them, so I don't have any new ones, but I want to fill, um, I, these are kind of like dry, uh, cause I haven't used it in a while, so I want to fill these in. So the first one is Faded Jeans, which is the second one in. So what you do is you just add a few little drops to it. So that's it so i just filled that in okay and we will do each color uh, the next one that i have here is crackled pistachio and i'm going to shake them and that's the one on the top and then i have weathered wood now I don't have all the ink pad, all um, all the color. I have all the ink pads, but I don't have all the re-inkers. I just made a mess. <laughs> uh, and this one is wild honey. I just bought these like just out of the whim. I was like, what do I do with these things? <laughs> and. I wanted to learn more, so I wound up doing this. This is uh, fresh berries, really nice red. And sorry for my dog barking in the background there. <laughs> okay, what's the next color? This is Dusty Concord. That's a nice purple color. My favorite color is purple, so yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Whoops. And we have frayed burlap. And that will be this one here. Okay, and I have three left. I have uh, tumbled grass. No glass tumble glass it's like a bluish color a really light blue and then i have stormy sky 
which is this one. That's the middle. There was a lot. I probably didn't like that one that much. And the last one is tea dyed. And tea dye is the top brown. Just fill that up. All right, so now we have the, all the colors in there. And what we use is a water pen. Here is my water pen. I'm going to put, add more water to it because I don't have much in there. And uh, we will do uh, a background or swatches or something. Okay, this is Daisy. She wanted to say hello. She was barking in the background. Um, yeah, so she's in my room right now. Um, not much room to walk around because I still have crap all over my floor. But, um, yeah, so there she is. She's hiding now. Okay, so I pulled out my Canson watercolor paper. I have a 9 by 12 inch piece of paper um, that is on my desk now. And we are going to watercolor on this with the water pen. Um, I also pulled out a um, cloth. Uh, this is just a scrap of cloth that I had left over from scrapbooking. And Lindsay says, use this to wash your... Um, your pen when you switch colors. So I'm going to try to do that. Um, and instead of using paper, cause I've been using paper, uh, I'll have a nice, uh, fabric to use, uh, with something and it will all be matching with these colors. So let's see if we could do this now. I'm just going to do some doodles or, um, just watercolor on the paper. I'm going to start with the crackled pistachio. And I'm going to dip it into the paint. And then I'm just going to do maybe sh strips. And dip and strips. And dip and strips. Look how wet that is. Okay. And I'm going to keep going to get rid of the color on the look how much ink I'm getting and it's getting lighter is that in my good camera oh I gotta move this out of the way okay so can you see the transition of getting light I smeared it a little bit but it's getting lighter and lighter and soon it's gonna have no ink so I got some nice green. So now I want to switch colors now. So I'm going to take this cloth and just wipe it on here. And it makes until it gets clear. And look how there's like marks on here. And like as I keep using this, this will become like a nice thing to use. Okay, so we already used the pistachio. So now let's use another color. I really like the honey. So let's go into the honey. And let's do the same thing. And this is great for backgrounds. Just doing stripes. I think I'm going to do some flowers soon. I keep running out of, out of frame here. Whoa. All right. Am I in camera? Let me just move the camera. That might be easier. <laughs> All right. All right. So I got some nice orange. So again, I'm going to take my cloth and clean my... There's a lot of orange on there. Holy cow. Look, I still have more. Wow. That's a lot of orange. <laughs> All right, so now my cloth is getting to be different colors. All right, so let's make a flower of some sort. Um, I am going to do um, a tea dye center.
I'm going to do some dots. T die centers. Okay. I know it's just dots right now, but all right, so let's clean the thing. And I have a nice red. What is it called? Fresh berries is the red that I have. So let's use the fresh berries. And draw some nice flowers. Let's, should I leave it like that or should I fill it in? Uh, let's leave that one like that and let's fill this one in. And I didn't even dip into any more um, paint yet. That's only one dip. I didn't change colors yet and I didn't dip into uh, any more paint. I'm still using the same first dip. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That's a lot of ink. I don't know if I like it. I think I like it both like this. Let's do some swirls. And then I could cut these out later. Now I'm running out of ink. So it's getting lighter and lighter. Let's dip in more ink. Cool to fill it in with another color. All right, so that's that, and one more. All right, so let's clean my brush and let's get another color out. Yes, I put a little bit of red on there now, see? Okay, so now we want red and um, let's do, should I do blue? Okay, I'm going to do tumbled glass, no, faded jeans. Let's do faded jeans. I'm going to color this in. I don't know if this is going to work, but yeah. Red, white, and blue. <laughs> All right, so faded jeans inside. So now this page is done. I did use some tea dye for the brownish thing and I did some doodles around the flowers. This is still wet, so it's gonna I'm going to put it aside so it dries. And later on I could cut this up and do something. Now what does my uh cloth look like? This is what my cloth looks like so far. It is wet uh as well, uh, but it has all the colors that I used within here and yeah so you could cut it up or whatever you want to do with it all right so let's do another technique okay so i recently got these gel place press petites and they there's a triangle there's a circle and a square in this kit i have a really big jelly plate but um, I'm going to be working on these little ones and make something with it using the Stress Oxide inks. Uh, so I'm going to take out the circle and put that on my paper here, on my desk, I mean. Uh, and then I cut paper down to uh, four by five and a quarter. So they're like card fronts. And then I had some extra pieces that um, this is all watercolor paper. Uh, and what we do, now this is my first time I'm doing this. So bear with me. I'm going to do the Distress Oxide. And I have a ton of Stampin' Up! inks ink is re-anchors that I found I want to try to see if it works with the regular regular inks too but let's do this dress distress oxide first and see what we can get come up with here all right so let's do a um festive berries 
a wild honey and tumbled glass let's try those three colors and let's see what we can make with them i have a water bottle here this is from the dollar tree uh and we'll spritz it so let's get some red first and what you do is you just put ink around let's put some in the middle all right and then take the yellow now i've never done this before so it looked easy when he was demonstrating it uh but let's see what happens when i do it okay so i got some yellow in there and now let's add some blue this is uh oh maybe i should do let's do faded jeans instead of the tumbled glass let's do faded jeans and see what we make here now he says to use your fingers and i don't like to get dirty so i went to the laundry room and picked up a vinyl glove uh, because i don't like to get dirty and i don't want to get all this ink all over my hands so I am going, he said to swipe it around. I'm making a mess. All right, so I just mixed all the colors now. And then you're just going to take this and tap it on top. I'm so sorry for my dog. She keeps barking because the cleaning ladies are here. <laughs> Ew, I got mud. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that was not a good idea. Maybe I shouldn't have swiped it around with my hand. All right, so let's do... Um, <laughs> yeah, I got a nice mud thing. All right, I'm going to try to clean this up. Remember, this is my first time doing it. I, I mean, I could do a coffee. <laughs> coffee page. Uh, yeah. All right, so I got a nice coffee page. So that's, <laughs> all right, so let's try and more colors. Oh, and I, did I wet it? I don't even know if I wetted it. All right, so that's that. All right, so let's try another one. Um, let's try to clean this with a baby wipe. Where is the baby wipe? All right, I am going to do another one without swishing it around with my fingers and see what we get. Let's try that again. Mud is not good. <laughs> Ew, yucky. Either that or it's the colors that I chose. This is very messy. I told you I don't like getting it on my hands, so yeah. <laughs> I already have some blue on my hands here. All right, so we're going to clean this up and try again. That was a fail. Okay, so I am dying to know if these Stampin' Up! inks that I've collected and hoarded for years are going to work to, on this jelly pitly. So we are going to do it with you on camera and hopefully we'll get some nice project. Um, I don't know if it's going to work. So uh, this is an experiment. I love purples. So I have some purple here. Where is it? I have um, lots of colors here. These are really, really old. Okay. Perfect plum. This is like very, very old. There's ink in there. So let's do the same type of technique. I'm going to put some color on here. And hopefully this will work. All right. And then I have, this is almost amethyst. I don't have that much left in here, but there is some in here. And yes, you stamping up people who are demonstrators are saying, oh my God, she still has those colors. Yes, I've been hoarding them for years. <laughs> All right, so that's that. 
And let's add a yellow. I have this one here, which is Barely Banana. <laughs> these are so old. <laughs> they don't even sell these colors anymore. It's making a mess. Maybe I'm putting too much ink. All right, so I got lots of dots there. So let's see what happens when I use the paper. Let's try not wetting it and see what happens because I don't think this is like distress oxo as you wet it. So um, let's just do it and see what happens. So wish me luck here. I feel it squatting all around. It's probably making a mess. Oh, yuck a duck. Let's see what we got. Oh, that is pretty though. It's starting to bleed. I'm going to have a nice... Whoa, I think I put too much purple. The purple's taking over the yellow. Yeah, they're blending really. <laughs> and I did not wet it. It is so juicy. All right, so let's add, let's try to get more ink. This is so wet. Let's try to get more of that ink up. Oh, look at that. That's a nice background, but it's very, very wet. That's cool. All right. I think lighter colors, because the dark is taking over. Uh, let's try it again. Uh, do I have... I want to... I'm going to grab some of this. this. is still wet. I'm going to try to grab some more of that purple. Look at that. Let's see what happens. Now I'm mix, mixing distress inks with this, but I'm making dots. All right, so that's that. All right, I think I'm going to clean it and do another color combination. Pulled out uh, lavender lace, which is a light purple. I'm gonna do purples. All right, so that, that's lavender lace. And then I have elegant eggplant. Yes, very old color. <laughs> and let's do a blue, which is Pacific Point. I believe that this is old as well. I'm so glad I bought these things. All right, so let's see what happens when I make a print. All right, so here we go. Hopefully I will like this because they're all my favorite colors. Please don't be mud. <gasps> Look at that. Ooh, so cool. All right, so let's add more. It's more of a blue than a purple, but I'm loving it, and I think I need more paper. It's really dark. All right, so that is now ready to be dried. It's more of a blue than a purple, but yeah, so that's what I got. I still have more stuff on here, but I need more paper, so I will be back. Okay, this thing is very, very wet. I have alcohol. I want to see what happens when I put alcohol on it and see what happens. Let's see. I'm going to spray it. It makes bubbles. Oh, I love it. Look at that texture. That's pretty neat. All right, that's awesome. Okay, so you can use a regular paintbrush and use the ink that you had in here and just wipe it on the page. And look what I'm making. I'm like making these swatchy things. 
which just dipping it into the paint and yeah this is pretty neat so i'm gonna go this way and i'm just making swatches going across and i can cut this up later i love how this has kind of come out and i'm not even cleaning my brush i'm just going dipping it right into the paint and not even cleaning it that's pretty awesome. And I get a lot of strokes out of like one dip. And you could cut this up later. I haven't used my purple in a lot. There's my purple, my favorite color. Yeah. And notice I had like red on the brush before. And I'm using up all the paint here. And this will be great backgrounds later. I haven't used any yellow. I'll use the yellow now. Look at that, filled up the whole page with just painting with the paintbrush and not changing the color and not even adding water. So that's pretty neat. I have this nice, it has to dry, but look how nice background that is. And I'm using watercolor paper. Okay, so let's get into stamping. I pulled out my April add-on from um, Lindsay Olstrom. Um, and I'm going to use this spring is in the air stamp and I'm going to pull that out and I have the close to my heart block that I use. I'm going to do it with Ranger Archival Ink and I'm going to stamp it. I believe it's going to fit on here. So I'm going to use one of the strips that we made. And I'm going to stamp this on here. Okay, so I got that image, right? And then remember when I was doing my punches while well, I made these little templates? This works out awesome because now I can put it over the image to figure out which one is the right one to punch out. So it looks like it's the inch and a, and a half. Inch and a half is this one. So I pulled my inch and a half punch and I'm gonna punch that out. And that will punch out nicely. So there you go, I have my punch. I have my image now. Um, and now I also noticed because I did all my punches, I noticed that the flower punch that I have, if I can find it again, uh, this one, I think it's this one. This flower punch would work perfectly to go around that. So I'm going to punch this out of some of the papers that we made. So I think, here's all the papers that we made. I love the purple. Oh, the blue is nice. The blue and the green maybe? Or the purple, this is still wet. Uh, all right, so. That looks like the world. <laughs> um, I'm going to use this one and I'm going to punch out this flower. And, am I open? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to punch out the flower if it's open. Why is it not coming in? I 
looks like stuck. All right, there you go. All right, so I'm going to punch out a flower. And now I have a flower background with the punch. Look how pretty that is. And then I'm just going to glue that on top. And that is pretty. So I made a little flower thing. That's pretty. Okay. So, and then I can take some green and, of course, it's stuck. Oh, there you go. <laughs> um, this is the green. I could cut out freehand. Let's do some leaves. We'll just cut it out. And I'm using all this paper up. There you go. And now I have a nice leaf that I could glue and it all matches. And maybe I'll do another piece. So you could use all these scraps up. So that's pretty. There you go, my dog wants to get out. I think I'm gonna do it both on the two sides. All right, so I'm just gonna glue that down and I made a nice flower with some leaves. Daisy wants to get out. And I'm just gonna glue that like that. So that's cool. And then I can take a marker and outline the leaf. All right, so that's that. And I think I'm gonna outline the flower as well. So there you go, I made a little embellishment. All right, so now I have to do my journal page. Okay, here is my page, um, 57 and it's rubber stamps. Um, so I made this little flower and the last thing I want to include this on my page. And we learned with Lindsay's class, uh, we did a freestyle alphabet, which is really cool. And I want to write the word ink down the page. So I have these strips that we made uh, and I am going to make some letters. So this is my I. That's I. And I'm going to freestyle an N. Let's see if I could cut this out. That's, and then up. And then across. And down. And up. All right, here's my N, and now I want to make a K. And I think my I is too big. I am going to cut this in half. I want the, that's all the way. That's I, N, and then I need a K. Let's do it out of the same one. So I'm going to eyeball it and up and down and in and up and across and down and up and okay, there you go, ink. So that's pretty neat. And now I want to, do I want to use the flower? Did I put my punch away? I don't want to get up. Oh, here's my circle punch. So I want to punch a circle um, behind uh, or I'll do squares. Let's do circles. Uh, this is too big, what color? 
I have some images. Oh, these are still wet. Okay, um, are these wet? It looks like it's, I like the, this color maybe. I'm gonna cut, punch a, oh, it's still wet. I'm gonna dry this and come back. <laughs> Okay, so I am going to punch some circles out of this paper that I made earlier. So we'll get some circles and get some circles out of this. And they're popping all over the floor, but I'll have to pick them up. Oh, yeah. All right, so I punched a few circles and I had to collect them off the floor. But what you do is you take this and I think I want to cover that pink part. And you will glue these together so it makes an outline. Grab the ones off the floor. Okay, here we go. I got some here. And... Uh, so we did some orange. There you go. So you do that. And what you do is you glue those together. Should I do all the same? No, different. All different. This is too small. Where's my punch? Oh, you know what? A half circle. Really, really cool. Let's do a half circle. And it's using the same colors. That's a half circle. Oh, and I'm getting them all over the floor. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. <laughs> anyway. All right, so now I have some half circles. Let's use a half circle. That looks like a D. All right, so I'm gonna glue these together and then take a pen. What else can I do here? I wonder if I can do a scallop. I wonder if I should use the scallop. Oh, look, that looks like a um, quotation mark. I don't even wanna cut that because I could write a quote there. It looks like it's pointing to something. That's pretty neat. All right, let's do something like that. Ink. Ink is amazing. <laughs> All right. I'm going to cut a, a loopy thing out of this. Can I make it? Yeah. Oh, I got like a half circle. I got like a half circle now. I got so all these little pieces. <laughs> all right, I'm going to do something and come back because I'm still thinking. Okay, I found my make kit. Uh, this is from Allie Edwards. Uh, this, I, I think I just got this in April. Uh, and this is all about making things. So I thought this would be really cool to use. So I found this Yes uh stamp and i'm going to put it on that quote thing so i'm just gonna stamp it and i'm gonna stamp it on this and there you go i got a yes which is really cool and it's pointing to the ink i'm gonna put that up there and I made some little inky um, letters uh, that I am going to uh, doodle on. Uh, let's use my marker. I have a 1.1 um, Pit Artist Pen by Faber Castell. And I am going to doodle around this. And 
just freehand it and I'm going up and then the eye I'm going to do some stripes uh, and then in here I'm going to go back up so here's my eye and then here's my N and in the N I want to stamp something um, what do I have I make stuff or make N made for this making handmade with love I like this I make this Take this off. Actually, I gotta clean it. I know a lot of people don't clean their stamps, but I am. I'm using a baby wipe. I like to clean it <laughs> before I put it away. So, um, yeah. So I got this. It says, what does it say? I make stuff. So I make stuff. I'm gonna stamp it in the green. So you see that it says I'm if it could focus it says I make stuff so that's cool and now I want to doodle around the end so um, just to make it stand out I'm just gonna go up and around it's kind of dark so this is my N all right so I make stuff stuff and then this is my k what am i going to do with the k hmm uh this will fit I'm trying to see what will fit i'm going to put my yes away and i make stuff put that away and what do we have that fits make something today that's gonna fit i like that all right so it says make something today i'm gonna stamp it right on top of there make something today and then i'm going to outline this i think i'm gonna put dots around here and the stamp set fell on the floor. <laughs> and let's outline the K. And I hope that I am in camera. <laughs> All right, so I got that. And I think this one needs something. All right, so that's that. How is my page coming? And that looks pretty cool. All right, so I have that and I have that. Um, I'm going to glue this down and nothing's glued yet. So that's why I'm moving things around. Um, yeah, what else am I going to put on this page? April. I got this April thing. Let's put April on there. April stamp sets. Because it's supposed to be stamping. Oh, should I do Lindsay's little girl sticking up? Oh, I like that. All right, I'm going to stamp the little girl and cut her out. I'll be right back. Okay, here's my page. I stamped Lindsay's uh, little doll thing and um, I put it behind the letter. Um, I also um, added, I cut off a piece of my cloth here and I stapled it onto the end. You could see that there. I'm hoping it's in camera so you could see that a little bit more. Um, and yeah, and then I journaled about what I did, 
below that. So that's pretty neat. I also use um, the, the ink. I colored in with the ink that um, I had sitting on my table uh, to have the colors the same uh, from the watercolor thing tablet here, this thing. Um, yeah, so I used that. And I also did that around the page. Uh, just to tie in the purple color uh, in her dress. Uh, she is holding a bunny rabbit. I covered that up with the letter K. Uh, to, and it says make something today. Uh, and I, the only thing I really want to do is like outline this yes. I didn't do that. So let's do that while I'm on camera. Because everything else is outlined. I really like to outline this stuff so it stands out. So here you go. And it's a little quote thing. <laughs> so that looks better. Um, and yeah, that is done. So let's uh, spin the wheel for tomorrow. Oh, learn. Oh boy. I just learned something today. <laughs> anyway, I will try to learn something else tomorrow. I feel like I'm learning something every day, actually. Um, so anything, it's like a free for all for tomorrow. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll do something tomorrow. I have all this stuff here drying away. It's still wet. I did use a heat gun. Uh, but, um, it's very, very wet. So let's just let that dry and, um, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.